Welcome to another Disney World vlog and today is actually our final day in the parks. I can hardly believe how quick this trip has gone. It has absolutely gone by in a flash but we've had an amazing time. Lisa hasn't been to Hollywood Studios yet so far and that is what we're doing today. She hasn't been for five years so Galaxy's Edge is going to be new to her. I think Toy Story Land is new. She's done Toy Story Mania but all of the new stuff she won't have seen before I don't think anyway. I'm trying to think when it opened. It's hard to remember when things opened but I don't think she has. We've just been doing a bit of packing this morning so that we don't have too much to do when we get back this evening because when I went to book Genie Plus this morning, we do have Genie Plus, and also I wanted to book an individual lightning lane for Rise of the Resistance as well. I think when I went to do it, it was like 20 past seven, so I'd missed the seven o'clock, uh, which was my bad. Normally it's good to be on it at seven, which you can do if you're a resort guest, and already the return time for Rise of the Resistance was 6.45, I think, and I made our first Genie Plus for Slinky Dog Dash, and that's at seven this evening. So we figured it would be better to do a bit of packing this morning, since we're going to be in the park a little bit later this evening to do those attractions but obviously as soon as the two hour window has lapsed from park opening I'll be able to book another one and hopefully we can get maybe Toy Story Mania, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, we'll see what comes up but we're very excited for the day. I've been loving Hollywood Studios recently, I just have a really really good time in that park and I'm just really excited for Lisa to see Galaxy's Edge for the first time. So we're just going to head out and get the bus. I will mention here at Old Key West on this trip I've noticed the bus service is really really good it's another of the bigger resorts similar to Saratoga Springs Caribbean Beach um, I think Port Orleans is the same and you have several different bus stops that the bus has to kind of go around to all of them and often when I stay at Saratoga Springs the buses can be full by the time they get to you sometimes they take ages to arrive but here at Old Key West we have just had the best luck with buses I don't know whether the service is a little bit better somehow or what's going on but it's been really really good this trip so let's head out get our bus to Hollywood Studios and get our day started. And the weather is absolutely amazing again. We have been so incredibly lucky this trip. They do say it might rain a little bit later, so Lisa has her umbrella. Mine wouldn't fit in my bag. So Lisa's uh, got one umbrella at least. We can try and get under that, but I don't know if it's definitely going to. It's beautiful at the moment. Lisa decided she made a bad shoe decision, so she's just running back to change into trainers. <laughs> Lisa managed to uh, scan and do everything without any problem today. Oh, I love this. The last couple of trips I've just got such a renewed love of Hollywood Studios. I really, really have. Kate and I just had the best time here when we were here in January and February and I really enjoyed it the other day. It's just great. But we need some breakfast fairly urgently, I think. So we're going to go and do that and then we do have a reservation at Ogre's Cantina which Lisa's never done. She's never seen Galaxy's Edge so that's going to be amazing. So for our breakfast we have got ourselves the carrot cake cookie and I was saying to you guys last time it's really nice actually because it's not super sweet if you are having it for breakfast but it is big. You need a snack buddy really for this because trying to eat this by yourself I'm just not even sure. Like this doesn't do it justice how big it is. It's crazy big but it's really really good. We have this in half just a cross section for you guys. It's really, really moist like cake. I feel like it's falling apart because it's so moist. How many times am I gonna say moist? Right, okay. So good. First reaction from Lisa, right. It's so good, isn't it? How, how do you get cake that moist? I know. I don't even no, understand. No, oh, no, no, you've said it. We should have a have a counter how many times we're gonna say that. It really is though, right? It's the only way. To it's the only way to describe it. Okay, carrot cake cookie consumed and was amazing. We're gonna go into the Star Wars shop because Lisa is in the market for a Star Wars hat for her dad so we're just gonna see if we can find that in here because this is actually a big Star Wars store it's closed oh no what is the meaning of this I don't know maybe they open later it's fine we'll come back so we're now heading towards Galaxy's Edge for our reservation at Ogre's Cantina and we're probably gonna try and ride Star Tours in the standby line but we might do that afterwards we don't want to uh, miss our reservation time and I just want to say hi as well to Robert and Freya who we met when we were in Starbucks I hope you guys had a great trip and thank you for saying hi okay we're making the approach to Galaxy's Edge and oh, back there we ran into to Sam and Katie so hi to you guys it's lovely to have a chat with you and um, we're gonna be back this evening to ride Rise of the Resistance our return time is at 6.45 it's currently a 120 minute wait which is not unusual for this ride 
What's this one here? Uh, what, what does it say? Yeah. yeah. I have no idea. We have standing room today. We're not right at the bar, we just sort of stood back from it. But always make sure you come up to the bar to look at all the detail because it's so interesting. We both have a carbon freeze. Yeah, it just kind of goes up your nose. Yeah, exactly, it goes up your nose. Just be aware of that. It definitely does that. <laughs> So we're just going to get this photo pass picture. There is always a long line for this one, but it's a really great shot with the Millennium Falcon and everything in the background. So it's worth the wait. We just got our pictures and that was a really great photo pass photographer. And while we were stood there, we ran into Steph and Daniel as well. So hi to you guys. Hope you had a good trip. And now we're going to do a bit of shopping here in Galaxy's Edge. So this looks like it's the uh, kind of apparel and outfit shop. So you can get a lot of different, what I would consider to be like themed kind of dress up type stuff. Although a lot of the stuff you can get here, like it's not completely crazy looking. So if you wanted to have like a Star Wars vibe about your outfit, but you didn't want to be completely like in fancy dress, they have some good stuff here. Although I have to say, the majority of the year in the Florida heat, I could not personally wear that. I would be way too hot, but yeah, they do have some options and they have these. I do see a lot of people wearing this type of thing. Just to give you an idea on price, that is $79.99. So if you want Jedi robes again, that is going to be very hot to wear that. I don't know how much they are. They are $129.99, so that's kind of pricey. Oh my gosh, I love this one. <laughs> that's amazing. I really do love these. I would love to actually get like the whole collection of these. They're awesome. That's $22.99. I really do love the toddler pork. I'm very tempted by that, but I'm not I'm not gonna do it. But it's very cute and fluffy. And I've always wondered what's going on here in this little corner. And it looks like they've got some puzzles and stuff going on here that you can do. We've had no success so far with the souvenir. We really need that big Star Wars store because that's where I think you'll find hats and things, which is what we're actually after. So I don't know whether that's going to open today. It's really strange that it was closed. Right. We'll have a look. But we're now going to exit Galaxy's Edge just for now. We're coming back later to ride Rise of the Resistance and stuff. And we're going to go and do Star Tours now in standby line and then probably grab some lunch or something and then head back over because by then it should be time to ride Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I'm just waiting for Lisa here. And when we get and sit down for lunch, I'm going to run through our Genie Plus day and show you our return times and just explain how it's worked because a lot of our return times are later in the day I just want to kind of explain how that works because I know some of you guys still haven't done your first trip with Genie Plus yet so yeah I'll definitely do that in a bit we have a 25 minute standby so we're gonna definitely do this and in my experience it quite often is not 25 minutes even if it says it is so let's see it is now 20 past 12 so when we get to the front of the line I will let you know the time and we can see how accurate it is where you will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. That's right, a Tatooine vacation. So call Star Tours and book passage to Tatooine today. Um, I am here to tell you that droids are not permitted in checked baggage. Thank you for your we're about to get on in a second and the wait time up until this point was 14 minutes so not 25. I did suggest this for Lisa's dad but we're, she's not sure that he would like that. We want something like this but just with Star Wars or Galaxy's Edge or something. You can get yourself some fuzzy Baby Yoda earrings but they don't have a face. So we're all done with Star Tours and it was really funny the audio went out halfway through so we were just like in silence and other passengers started making like sound effects to try and make up for it. It was only for a few seconds, but I've never had that happen. And it was a different one that I've not seen before. We like crash landed in the ocean. I haven't had that version of it because there are different versions on that ride. I was very worried about Lisa's motion sickness, but actually she took a sickness tablet this morning. You were fine, weren't you? I survived. No, yeah, it was, it was you were good. okay. It was fine. I could I channeled it. It can be a little bit dodgy that one, you do have to watch out for that, but it was okay. And now we're going to go and grab some lunch, I think at Rosie's All American Cafe. It's quite nice there because you can sit outside, but it is in the shade. So we're going to go do that, maybe have a look in a couple of these shops, and then it should be time for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Before we get lunch, we are just going to quickly go into Keystone Clothiers because this is the store that was closed earlier that has the Star Wars merch. I don't know why it was closed, I guess maybe it just opens a little later than 
and everything else. But if we're gonna get a Star Wars hat, I feel like this might be the place to do it. And you can actually get yourself a set of Star Wars gingerbread Christmas tree ornaments. So that's kind of cool. I don't know how much that is, let's see. That is $44.99. And they have this shirt, roll model. See what they did there. And they have a lot of this range in this really nice teal kind of color, which is like a rebel leader range. You can get yourself a rebel leader bucket hat. I feel like if you're any kind of leader, you can't really pull off authority while wearing a bucket hat. Do you know what I mean? It's just not the kind of hat that says to me, I am a leader, but you know, maybe I'm just not a bucket hat fan. Any luck? No? Oh dang. We're sat waiting for our lunch, which I've mobile ordered and you can actually see our window is in around like 10 minutes to pick up our food. But I wanted to just show you our Genie Plus day and how this all kind of panned out. So this morning I didn't manage to get on at 7am. I accidentally didn't realise it passed 7 so by the time I went to book our Rise of the Resistance, which is of course a premium lightning lane, the time I was able to get was 6.45 this evening. So that just goes to show if you're not on it at 7 when the window opens up, you might be looking at a later return time. So I made that one. Then I also made our Genie Plus first one for the day, which was Slinky Dog Dash, and that was all the way at 7pm. So at 20 past 7 this morning, I basically made this one for 7pm and this one for 6.45pm. This one's a Genie Plus attraction. This one is an extra premium lightning lane. As the day has gone on, we've been able to make more because once two hours have passed, you can make your next one. So once two hours after park opening had passed, I was able to make this one from Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Railway, which is at 2.30. So just before we sat down here, I then booked Millennium Falcon because we had another availability then, and that's for 6.10 this evening. So you can see how it works that you have all of these backed up if you're booking them for later in the day. I hope that makes sense to you guys. It's not that you can book more than one at once. We're still only able to book them like every two hours or once we've ridden something, but it's just the fact that if you book them for later in the day, they then sort of stack up. So I hope that makes sense. It's very difficult to explain it until you're actually using it. But as soon as we've then ridden Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which will be our first one, we'll then be eligible to make another one. So it's either when you've ridden something or two hours from the last one you made. So yeah, that's how that works. And that's the reason that all of our rides are kind of backed up for the end of the day. It was just because I wasn't quick enough off the mark this morning to get the earlier times. So if you want to get earlier times in the day, you have to be ready to book at 7 a.m. on the dock to get those earlier ones. So I hope that does make sense. I'm sure it's a little bit confusing, um, but I just wanted to show you that. That's how our day is shaping up. So we're gonna have lunch here. We're gonna ride this. I'm probably then gonna go for a break over at maybe the Swan or Dolphin or the Riviera or something. You're thinking you might just stay here and wander around? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll probably get lost. But, um... you, you're fine. This, this park is hard to get lost because it's smaller, but your walking, yeah, your walking endurance is a lot better than mine with my TM. So Lisa's feeling like she can just keep going and it's our last day in the park. So yeah, you're... I want to make the most of it, definitely. Yeah, and you do like one day in each park, so you definitely want to make the most of today. So you're going to do that. I'm going to go and take a break. And then when I come back from my break, we can obviously start doing all of these attractions in the evening. So this is our lunch. We both went for the kids' chicken nuggets. Lisa got hers with fries and a mandarin. I actually just wanted fries with mine. So if you get it with just fries, um, it comes like this, like two separate ones. But this is more than enough for me for lunch. And it's not half the price of the adult one, but I think the adult one's like $11 and this was eight. So it does make a difference if you don't need a whole adult portion. The adult one comes with like eight nuggets, which is quite a lot. So yeah, this is what the kids portion looks like. And we did get cheese sauce because obviously, who doesn't love some yellow plastic cheese? So just browsing the shops before our return time. And here is the Bigfoot Porg. I love his wings the way they stick out. I feel like this shirt has kind of like a retro vibe to it. That's $24.99. And they have these PJ bottoms, which are $36.99. Lisa spotted some hats, so we're just gonna check these out. Yeah, we were just hoping for Star Wars specific, but in a light color, but we seem to only be finding black ones. But I think you're gonna probably get that other one you saw earlier, aren't you? And over here they have the kind of current spirit jerseys that you can find. There are, of course, the 50th ones, but the standard kind of ones you get at the moment are the standard black one, the rose gold, or I think it's like briar rose gold, I'm not sure what they call that, and this tie-dye orange one. 
like I say, there are a few others around and about, but those are the kind of main colours at the moment, other than the 50th ones. I don't think I've seen this Dumbo lounge fly before. That's new to me anyway. That one is $75. I do like the colour of that, it's like a kind of minty green colour. And they do have some Disney belts here. They have one with the castle which is $29.99. I really like this one actually. I would wear that definitely. That's $29.99 as well. And they have that one, also the same price. And this one with like the mini bow. And that one's the same, $29.99. I do really like this. And I think we've seen this lounge fly before, but you don't see it very often. It's the inside out one. And I do love this. I love this on the zip here. And the characters are just awesome. I do really like that. I think that one's 75 as well. Usually if they don't have like sequins or bows or ears or anything too fancy, just the regular ones, they're usually 75. And if you're in the market for a lounge fly bag that is not a backpack, they have this kind of satchel style bag, which is 70. That's actually really cute. I do like that. It looks kind of like a good work bag. It wouldn't be big enough to fit a standard laptop in though, I wouldn't say. They have a Jessica Rabbit dress. This is everything. So it actually says Jessica Rabbit on the inside. And it's like a velvet straight dress with a little split on the front. That's very cool. Probably not something you'd necessarily wear to the parks though. Oh, $128. I just like that it's Jessica Rabbit specific. And this is the wallet that goes with the Dapper Dan lounge fly that we saw. That is very cute. And they do have a matching hat as well. And the hat is $39.99. And they have some more inside out merch here. They have this Bing Bong shirt, which is a little bit different. That is $36.99. Then they also have this dress over here. I forget the name of the unicorn. And that dress is $59.99. And they also have this fired up sippy cup with anger on it, which is $27.99. And if you're looking for a classic lounge fly, which is always gonna go with any outfit pretty much when you're at Disney, this one is awesome. I would imagine this one's gonna be up there, $95 this one. Okay, let's make a slow walk over to our Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Railway, I can hardly ever say that, uh, return time, Lisa's first time riding it, so that'll be good. See who we've got down here. So we have Warren Beatty, got Kermit and Jim Henson, Justin Hoffman just behind, we've got Minnie over here, and we've got Steve Martin, who, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe he used to work at Disneyland back in the day, I think he was a cast member. That might be incorrect information, but I'm pretty sure that is the case. And we have Bette Midler, what a legend she is, love her. We've got Hulk Hogan down here too. And we're just hovering out here because we are a tiny bit early and they are quite strict, um, obviously when you scan your band, about when they will let you in. If you're early, it will turn blue. We're just waiting because we don't want a blue flashing light. That is not allowed. Just while we're waiting to go in, I just wanted to give a shout out to some of you guys. So earlier on we met Anthony and Maria when we were going on to Star Tours, so I hope you guys had a great day. And also just while we were eating lunch and going around the shops, we met Hannah, and then separately we met Aiden as well. And in the last store we were in, we met Tracy. So hi to all of you guys, and thank you so much for saying hi. We do love meeting all of you. Okay, I think we're about three minutes early, so we're still chancing it. Let's see what happens. We loved that as always. And you can get the little bird, you know, the really cute one at the end of the ride. Oh, I love him. How much is he? $26.99. I mean, I do not need this in my life, but I do love him. Just make sure my post tornado hair isn't all over the place. So now I'm just gonna exit the park to go and take a break, probably at the Dolphin. I think I'll just get the boat over there. That's the quickest. It's too long of a day for me to be standing or walking all day. And I just can't manage it. So I need to just go and have a break. Lisa is going to carry on wandering, Just, I think she's going to go back to Galaxy's Edge and have a look around in some of the shops that we haven't done yet. I just generally have a wonder taking everything in. And when I get back, hopefully, in the next few minutes, I'm going to be able to book Toy Story Mania. And once we come back and ride that, then we've got all of our others, Millennium Falcon, Rise of the Resistance. We also have Slinky Dog Dash, so we're really looking forward to all of those this afternoon. Oh, I can sense a parade coming through, maybe. Sounds like it could maybe be Toy Story related. Yep. Oh, we got Edna, love her.
Buzz has to travel in style. He couldn't possibly walk. I love those little cavalcades because they don't draw massive, massive crowds because they just happen randomly. Um, not like the big parades, but yeah, they're very cute just going by every now and again. I feel like someone is meeting and greeting over here because everyone is waving up at this balcony. Who is up here? It is Donald and Daisy. Hi, Daisy. Oh, look at Donald there. Love him. I'm just heading onto the boat now and I just ran into Abby and Lewis who were on their honeymoon. So congratulations to you guys. And I hope you enjoyed the rest of your trip. But I am now looking forward to a drink and a big armchair at the Dolphin Resort, which is one of my favorite places to go for a break. And here we are at our destination for our quick afternoon break. I can highly recommend the Dolphin for a break because it's the first stop with the boats. And I did just spot for the first time this trip, they did have a sign saying that face coverings are optional for fully vaccinated guests, but they recommend unvaccinated guests do still wear a mask. And that's the first mention I've seen of anything anywhere. Obviously the Dolphin Resort is not owned and operated by Disney, so that's their own sign, but I just thought I would mention that and fuel is what we need, so let's get in here. And this is a really nice grab and go kind of place. They do have lots of drinks and kind of yogurt, granola, salads and stuff. So if you did need to grab some lunch or whatever while you're here, they've got you covered. Okay, it is a while later now. I've been sat in this very comfy big chair here at the Dolphin, just relaxing for a while, just having a coffee. And now I need to think about getting moving again to get back over to Hollywood Studios to ride all of our return times, fingers crossed, we can get them all done because they are kind of one after the other and we do have some overlapping so I'm just really hoping we can get them all done. It should be fine. I've been thinking about it, the time it's likely to take, how quick we can get from one attraction to the next and luckily at Hollywood Studios everything's quite close together. I just really hope we don't have anything that delays us or anything that like takes longer if a ride goes down or something then that could potentially was a problem but hopefully we will be okay. I have to admit this chair is so comfortable. I don't really want to move. Right now I could do with another, maybe like half an hour sat here. I've just had a coffee and another drink and it's just so nice. I love coming here and relaxing. The air con is nice. So I'm gonna get my ears back on and then head off and find Lisa. I think we might just have time to have a quick look in this Disney store here. I just wonder if they have anything different to the regular ones. They do have the completely plain ears. I haven't seen these many times this trip which literally just say Mickey Mouse. There's no bow and no other embellishments on it. And they do have one 2022 pin. So I couldn't find it anywhere. I've got it now from Old Key West, but they literally just have one here. And they do have Jiminy as well, but I do already have this one. And I think I'm gonna get this iridescent pop socket. I have been wanting to get this for a really long time and haven't actually seen it anywhere else. So I'm gonna pick this up too. Well, I'm glad I nipped into that shop because I haven't seen that pop socket anywhere so far this trip and I liked it last time. They did have a 50th anniversary one at the register as well, but it was 50 bucks, which is kind of pricey. I think I paid about 17 for the one I just bought. And it doesn't look as if there's been any rain. They did say that there could have been a chance of rain this afternoon but doesn't look like it has a little bit of cloudiness but I doubt it's going to famous last words Lisa's got the umbrella so fingers crossed it doesn't before I get back to her oh and we just missed a boat dang oh actually I did just feel a spot of rain oh no see what did I just say so at least get ourselves over here and then we won't be rained on so I'm just heading back in it is raining a little bit only a little bit though and I just ran into Emma and Nick as I was coming in so hi to you guys and thanks for saying hi I think I've just had a message from Lisa so let's go find her okay Lisa tells me she is over by runaway railway so we'll head there and I just met Emma as well so hi to you and thanks for having a little chat I love talking to you guys it's always a pleasure to meet everybody and I'm excited to get on some rides now we're gonna have to do these rides one after the other I'm a tiny bit nervous about missing one of them I just hope we don't have any hiccups but let's see what happens let's see if it can be done that might be helpful for you guys for your trip so I've now found Lisa Here I am. and I think I just said we were riding slinky dog first we're not it's Toy Story Mania first then followed by Millennium Falcon I can never say that then Rise of the Resistance and then slinky dog last so let's do this this is gonna be 
a busy a few, few hours. hours. We did manage to scan in about three or four minutes early for Toy Story Mania, so we've got a four four minutes ish head start on our crazy <laughs> four rides. That four minutes could make all the difference. You never know. So this is our first one, and then we're going to be off to Galaxy's Edge to ride Millennium Falcon. I'm slightly worried about Lisa's motion sickness. Hopefully she'll be okay. I do love the theming of the queuing area of this ride. If you go through the Lightning Lane, you will miss out on Mr. Potato Head, but you do still get to see all the awesome theming. I love the monkeys. It's around 6.07 p.m. and we're just getting on this ride. So we're making good time so far. So far, so good. That was our scores. Love this ride. It's so good, isn't it? We just exited somewhere very strange. This is not the usual exit. Kind of round the back in the old section where the original entrance to this used to be. Yeah, usually you come out of there. But anyway, hey, we've made it into Galaxy's Edge for our next one and we ran into Blake there. So hi, Blake. It was really nice to talk to you and I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. But let's go and see. I wonder what we're going to get today. I was a pilot last time. Kind of felt the pressure of that. I didn't want to crash everybody in the Falcon. So maybe today will be a gunner or something. We will see. And the standby wait for this current I think it's maybe around 6.20 or something, Six, oh no, 6.23 at the moment. And the wait is 40 minutes in standby. That is not very long at all. This could be a good time of day to get in standby if you haven't got a lightning lane for this. You will be intercepting a first order train shipment of coaxium. Gunners, you clear the path. Pilots, line up behind the train. Stick to fly up and push forward to fly down. Oh, well, watch it. Jupiter, I just think we'll be the end. Weapons are online. They're dropping. So we're all done on the Millennium Falcon, that was really good, we were gunners this time and uh, I felt less pressure to do that, that was fine. Um, when I was piloting it I was a bit worried about doing it wrong but uh, I feel a lot better about my piloting last time when Kate and I did it because um, they did crash us quite a lot in this one. <laughs> but it was good, it was good fun, Lisa enjoyed it, no motion sickness, no? No, all clear. No, she's good. And now we're going directly to Rise of the Resistance so we are just riding these rides one after the other and then it is off to Slinky Dog Dash and then it's gonna be time for us to exit. Just arriving here at Rise of the Resistance, it is 6.46, I think that says, and our return time is 6.45, so that has worked out perfectly. We've got here right on time, and the standby is currently 70 minutes, which is not too bad at all. I just want to be sure. All recruits must be on board now. Transport is away in 30 seconds. We're picking up an unusual signal. Are you spotting anything? Raise the shields. The resistance prisoners. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. and stay out of trouble. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait, you're going to the prison. We have a great Who will get these two droids anyway? Detention block breach. Prisoners have escaped. Our brave, but ultimately hopeless. There's nowhere to run.
Rise of the Resistance first opinion from someone who's never ridden it before. My goodness, you're in for a treat. Yeah. It is amazing. It's so good, isn't it? I even had the chance to test out my vocal cords. Lisa did scream when it dropped and grabbed hold of me. It was so funny. She was not, not ready for it. But no one ever is. If you've never ridden it and you don't know that it does that little drop. It's not too scary, but it's just sudden. You don't realise it. Now it's time to go and ride Slinky Dog Dash. And I think we're good for time, I'm pretty certain. Yep, it's 14 minutes past seven and our Slinky Dog Dash is between seven and eight. So we're going to go and ride that and then it's going to be time for us to head back to Old Key West and pack. Which and get is, some food. And get food, yes. We do need some dinner. The important bit. So yeah. yeah. Our, our chicken nuggets and fries are a distant memory at this point, but it's been amazing getting to do all of these rides just one after the other today. And here we are at Slinky Dog Dash, which is a 55 minute wait. And um, that worked perfectly. So we managed all four of those return times. When we get back to the hotel, um, I screenshotted the times. So I'll tell you what time they all were and what time frame we managed to do them all in. But yes, we've got everything done that we wanted to, which is amazing. the look of these clouds so we're glad we're exiting now just in case we do get a downpour it's looking a bit dodgy i meant to mention as well there's a couple of things i noticed on rise of the resistance that were not working so one of them was the beginning when ray is doing her like message in the very first room you're in normally she speaks to bb8 and he kind of rolls out that didn't happen and also the part where kylo ren disappears behind like a screen he's kind of like yelling at us and then the screen kind of comes down that wasn't working either and correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but on millennium falcon i'm i'm sure the beginning part like the pre pre-show bit there's normally an animatronic i forget the name of the character but you know we were watching him on a video screen i'm sure there's normally an animatronic there but there wasn't so i don't know and i think i mentioned earlier today that today is patreon park day where you guys decided where we were eating lunch and where we which attraction we were going to do in the standby line which was star tours and you also chose joffrey's for a coffee so we're just gonna get that now but I might get a peach iced tea actually because I haven't had one this trip and they are everything here we go peach iced tea I love these so much and I love their Disney World 50th cups they have at Joffrey's at the moment and that is gonna do it for our day at Hollywood Studios but also for the parks for this trip we are going home tomorrow I can't believe how quickly this has gone but we've had such a good day here at Hollywood Studios and doing all those attractions one after the other was just great so like I said when we get back to Old Key West I will tell you more about that and the timings of it and everything and this looks fabulous the sky looks amazing because the sun's kind of going down beautiful and Lisa has just made a little Starbucks stop because she is bringing a carrot cake cookie all the way back for her mum who loves carrot cake we're pretty convinced if she sits this in the top of her like shoulder bag it will travel okay and again with the word moist but because it's so moist I think it'll be fine it'll be fine it's got two chances yeah it's got it's it'll go one of two ways but we're hopeful and just while I was waiting for Lisa there I met I want to say Ellen and Rich I am so sorry if I've got your name wrong I actually told you guys that I would definitely remember them and guess what happened in the two minutes while I was stood there I know it was Rich I think it was Ellen I'm so sorry if that is wrong um, it was great to talk to you guys there and thank you so much for saying hi we are back at the room feeling tired we are definitely feeling tired now and um, we've actually ordered uber eats from the bus <laughs> on the way back um to be delivered here to the room and it's really great because they will deliver it right to your room so we're getting some food from applebee's and um i love using uber eats it's so good if you have days where you're just really tired you get back to the room and you just don't want to go anywhere or figure anything out um if you haven't used uber eats before i do have a code in the description and it's like a recommendation thing so i do get some kind of credit as well i think just full disclosure um but yeah we love using uber eats when we're out here in orlando and at home for that matter but we are just going to wait for this food have that and then finish packing we've got a thunderstorm going on outside that literally just started as we were walking into the room so if there's going to be crazy thunder lightning and rain we just avoided it tomorrow we're not going to have very long to go around disney springs because we're getting picked up by the sunshine flyer at around 1 p.m i think so we're going to get bell services to get our bags as early as we can get
get out and then we'll just go for a couple of hours to Disney Springs, have a little look around. On that note, I think that this vlog, oh, that was big lightning. Get ready for the thunder. Oh, there it is. I don't think it's right over us but it's it's on the way it's on the way i think this vlog will go right into tomorrow because the travel day home is never very long especially if we're only here until 1 p.m so i suspect that this vlog won't be finishing here and we'll go straight into traveling home but thank you for watching today oh you do get some serious storms out here in Florida. It's really impressive to watch. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna leave you now. Oh, I meant to tell you about the lightning lanes that we had. So let me just grab my phone because I screenshotted it. I just wanted to tell you about the timings so that you can know kind of what we were trying to do with the ones that we had stacked up. So we had Toy Story Mania at 6 p.m. So between six and seven. Then we had Millennium Falcon at between 6.10 and 7.10. So those two were almost at the same time except for 10 minutes then we had rise of the resistance at 6 45 so between 6 45 and 7 45 and then we had slinky dog dash between 7 and 8 and we did manage to do all four of them so basically between 6 and 8 so two hours we had all four of those rides to do so normally you have to be a bit careful about having too many close together because it does take a while to walk from one ride to another to go through the queue to go through any pre-show to actually ride the ride and then you have to get to your next one so it sounds as if it would easily be done but actually it's not always completely easy but we did manage it it was fine we got all of them done especially at Hollywood Studios everything is quite close together and all of those rides were in Toy Story Land and Galaxy's Edge which are of course right now next to each other so it was great to be able to do that it was just one after the other all of those big rides and we just loved it lisa loved all of them didn't you it was amazing awesome. yeah so such a great last day we really really enjoyed doing that but just always be careful of that with your um, return times and lightning lanes watch out oh my I'm getting Haunted Mansion vibes right now. So always just be a little bit careful of that with return times and dining reservations, just making sure that things aren't overlapping in an unrealistic way where you're then not gonna be able to get from one thing to the other because there's nothing worse than if you then missed one. It was such a nice final day in the parks. I can't believe that this is coming to an end so quickly. This trip has gone so fast. It really has gone by in a flash. And that just seems to be the way of it on these trips. I definitely feel like they go quicker every time I'm out here. But we had such a great day meeting you guys as well. Um, so many of you having a little chat. Like I said, it's always a pleasure to meet everybody. So thank you for always saying hello. And thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, both here and over on Instagram. Just everything you guys do, I really do appreciate it so much much but i'm gonna go now we need to shut the blinds on this terrible weather and thunderstorm that's going on i will see you guys in the morning for our last day so it'll be disney springs and then traveling Good morning we are checking out of old key west goodbye room 4810 yes 4810 still can't remember our room number even though we've been here for eight nights and bell services have just come to take our bags we're gonna go with them to the main lobby get the boat to disney springs and at least have a few hours in disney springs I've had a text to say we're delayed, which is a little annoying, only by an hour though, so that's not too bad. So yeah, let's go and get a last bit of Disney Springs time. We're queens of the bus. Nobody's going to Disney Springs at this time in the morning except us. It is 8.46, so we did pretty good checking out this morning and getting out of the room. Yeah, we did good there. Normally I'm there at 10 a.m. still, like, desperately rushing around that's probably me like soldiering you off yeah there's there's no no messing around so we are here at a very quiet disney springs you will see behind me let me just do a a spin around there's virtually nobody here uh, it's 9 a.m so disney springs doesn't open until 9 so if you get here we were here like five minutes early and they will make you wait until nine before you can come in and most of the stores don't open till 10 but you can get coffee like starbucks is open everglazed donuts is open and we're going to go there because i really want to show you guys everglazed donuts it's a fairly new place i've never tried it it looks amazing so we're going to go and do that and then we're going to head into a couple of the stores lisa just has something 
to take back and then we're going to go to world of disney and i can show you guys around there and it'd be really nice browsing world of disney when it is not crazy if you're here in the evenings or on like a saturday in the middle of the day it will be crazy in there but if you can get here early it's such a nice experience looking around without there being too many people so we're looking forward to that and the outfit i have on today i do have this dress on which is from pour moi has little buttons down the front it's really cute i have it in blue as well i actually wore the blue one on my travel day out and on that note all of my outfits that i've worn on this trip if they're ones that i have purchased not ones that my mum has made um i do have an ltk store which is basically where i can post pictures of my outfits that i'm wearing and i can add links to stuff so that you guys can get it if you want to it is an affiliate thing um there is full disclosure about that in the description but i'll link it below um you can actually download the app and then you'll always be notified when i upload new pictures of the stuff i'm wearing and yeah then you can go and check it out if you like it these dresses from cornoir are so comfortable they're perfect for florida i really can't believe this trip is coming to an end it's gone so quickly it was just a short one for us eight nights which is you know less than we would normally do normally we would do two weeks where possible but it's been amazing i've absolutely loved it lisa's loved being back she's loved the weather for her sunbathing and swimming and everything the days in between the parks and we've just had an amazing time as always and the terrifying balloon is up in fairness a lot of people go up in this balloon and they're fine i was completely terrified and actually i didn't think i was going to be it's not the type of thing that normally would scare me um if anyone saw that vlog it's quite old now i was literally frozen to the spot in fear it was so funny but at least i know it gave everybody a good laugh and we have starbucks in our sights and I believe Everglazed Donuts is kind of around here somewhere in the west side. And if you do ever happen to be at Disney Springs wanting to eat something without a reservation, these food trucks here are amazing. The mac and cheese one is so good. And it looks like there's some construction walls here, so I'm not entirely certain what is going here. I can see the new M&M store up ahead, which is new since I was last here. We also have Salt and Straw, which is a new ice cream place. It's supposed to be really, really good. And it looks like all these places are opening up around nine. So even though you might not be able to go shopping yet, it does look as if the kind of ice cream and donut and eating places are all opening. They have some really interesting flavors here, apparently. So as you approach Splitsville, you can see Everglazed over here. It's by the entrance and exit to the Orange Garage. I don't know if they're open yet. Well, no, they must be open. We saw a guy with a box of donuts. I think they are open. <laughs> and here we are. And it looks like they do like food as well. I thought they just did donuts, but they have sandwiches and fries. So you can actually eat here as well. They have cold brew. They have milkshakes by the look of things. Nitros and ice specialities. I'm a bit overwhelmed because I've not looked at the menu online or anything. So I need to make a quick decision here peanut butter explosion sounds good they have a nifty 50 limited edition donut butterscotch caramel corn nutella boston cream oh my thank you very much thank you so we have our everglazed donut which i'm going to eat in a second with my coffee we're just in starbucks they've got some really interesting tumblers at the moment they're so big as well like if you want to drink a lot of water those would be quite handy to have at home i do really love this blonde espresso roast that they have in starbucks i'm kind of tempted to get this realistically i don't have space for those coffee beans so i've just ordered a blonde latte instead you will have seen when we were in there they had some really fascinating looking donuts they had a cirque du soleil donut which looked amazing i couldn't choose like i was on the spot and i was really struggling it's almost stressful yeah it was i was like oh i don't know what to have so this is the nutella boston cream donut which sounds amazing I'm very excited to try this and they are big donuts they're not cheap again it's like anything at um disney in terms of like gideon's cookies and these things they're a lot pricier than what you would pay for this type of thing in normal circumstances but it is huge you could definitely share this it's massive so just to show you the cross section of the donuts the nutella is actually in the frosting so it's like nutella flavored frosting and the inside has like this cream stuff it's not like cream but it's like creme pat i think it's called whatever it is but the actual donut itself is just like really thick it's really nice okay we're now in the world of disney and here he is lumiere i've never managed to actually get this i've wanted it for i don't know how long i since i can remember it's 55 dollars i do love him one day i will buy this i don't have room in my luggage this time and i'm pleased to report that the mug section is a lot better than it was the last couple of trips 
this is more like what we're used to when there's like an entire wall of mugs so that's good news mugs are back and this blue and gold kind of 50th anniversary stuff is definitely having its moment as you can see so maybe that's what they're planning to do over the 18 months first of all it was the kind of purpley colors then we've got this blue and it's all got the iridescent look to it so perhaps when this range is kind of sold out they'll have something else i don't know ears are 34.99 i feel like that's gone up they used to be 29.99 maybe it's just this one pair that are more and of course the lounge fly as well and as always every item is limited to two per guest so you can't buy more than two of anything and um, that's just to stop people reselling and stuff like that and they have their other big 50th display right here at the back of the store they have lots of souvenir type stuff like this that would be good for taking back as gifts. You still get the soap dispenser that dispenses your liquid soap as a Mickey head. Make sure you put it in your checked luggage, not in your hand luggage. I had that problem because it is over 100 mil because it is over the liquid limit when you're going on the plane. And they have the wishables here. Oh, look at little Kermy. He's so cute. They've got some Monsters University stuff. They have the hats too. And this one. And what's this? have to see what this is it's like a notepad oh yeah it's like a notepad like folio thingy uh, it's 34.99 that is kind of cool though oh. i've always loved this rain jacket this is so awesome and they also have a small world one as well and they are 54.99 and i don't think we've seen this shirt before the magic is back that's really nice and it does have a v-neck as well which is a little bit different and that one is 36.99 and it is reasonably busy in here already like i was saying if you get here right when it opens you can browse around pretty much on your own but it does get busy pretty quickly so it was a very popular store especially when people are leaving to go home because you kind of have everything collectively in one place and i've just spotted a new airpod case they have a dull whip airpod case i've got the spaceship earth one that is amazing 19.99 for that so Lisa's just running to Zara to return a dress. I'm going to have a look in coach. I don't need to buy anything, but it doesn't stop us browsing. And they do have all the coach Disney range in here. This is very cute. This is very much my type of thing. The good thing about coach bags, they are pricey, but they last for years and years and years and years. I've had ones that have taken, well, they still haven't worn out and they're like 15 years old or something, depending how often you use it. But yeah, they are good quality not sure about this floral moment do you know what this reminds me of swimming hats that old ladies used to wear or i don't know if they still do reminds me of that and this is one of the popular disney designs it's like the classic kind of coach look but with the embroidery on it's actually quite a functional bag it's got good sections oh 875 dollars that is kind of pricey wowzers so we're just here at Old Key West, relaxing on a bench, just waiting a little bit longer to go and get our luggage. Once you've got your luggage, you're kind of stuck with it then. Um, you just have to sit with it until your transport arrives to take you to the airport. So we're just sat here overlooking the lake where the boat goes across the Disney Springs, just for about another 20 minutes and then we'll go and get the bags. This is my very nice view. Lisa is obviously baking in the sun as per usual. I'm in the shade, of course. <laughs> But yeah, Old Key West is such a nice laid back resort. Like it's just so chilled. It's really, really nice. It's not super busy or super crazy. Loads of noise or anything going on. It's just, yeah, really nice. If I'm being super critical, I would say that the rooms are a little bit dated. They just need a bit of an update. They're fine. Um, it is still a deluxe resort. It's still very nice. It's just things like there's one mirror in the whole room, just in the bathroom and there's no other mirrors. So if you're sharing, getting ready in the morning is a little annoying because there's only one mirror for people to use and yeah just overall it just has more of a dated feel but not in a really bad way i think eventually it will get updated they've updated saratoga springs and of course that looks great now so i would imagine they do the same here at some point but yeah we've really enjoyed it everything else about the resort is really good the bus service has been great i found the bus service way better than at saratoga springs so yeah we've really really enjoyed our stay here and here's our ride the sunshine flyer like i said in the first vlog i highly recommend it they were great bringing us from the airport to old key west okay now to find the virgin check-in desk if you look at the big signs kind of above you it will tell you sometimes it's the a side sometimes the b uh i'm not seeing the oh virgin atlantic is side a so we do need the other side the sunshine fire dropped us off at side b you're going to have to just walk across to a and if you've somehow forgotten anything from disney or you need a last minute gift 
for someone. They do have the Magic of Disney store, which is quite a big store here. And there is a good photo op here as well. They have this huge screen that has various different Disney pictures that come up. They've currently got Flower and Garden Festival there at Epcot. And here it is, Virgin Atlantic, and there's hardly anybody here, so that's good. Okay, we are all checked in for the flight. My luggage was 21.5 kilos. I was worried it was going to be over. It did feel really heavy, but it wasn't. It was fine. And uh, we just had our McDonald's, which we always do before we get on the plane. And the security line looked really, really long. Um, it's super busy here today. Even just finding a seat to sit here in the food court was difficult, but it is a Saturday. So obviously airports are very, very busy on a weekend. So we're probably going to go through security now. It is a little bit early because our flight's delayed by an hour so we've got quite a while yet but it's better to wait in the right place I guess than um, walking around here too much and we're through security that wasn't too bad at all it took like 20 25 minutes something like that so we've got quite some time until we are boarding for some reason I really feel like I want this magazine <laughs> Southern Living the entertaining issue I don't know why I feel like that'd be an interesting read though and you can get yourself a night bus tin which is kind of cool I don't know what it has in it I think it has like candy in it or something Thing, but I just like the, uh, the money tin. This would be a good way for saving some money for your Orlando trips. I love that. Wow, Kylie Jenner has her whole own vending machine. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Okay, we are here at gate 96. We have got a bit of a wait. Um, it's going to be two and a bit hours because we're delayed. And we didn't rush through the airport. We kind of had something to eat. We just made our way through. Um, yeah, we haven't rushed in any way, but we thought we might as well just get to our destination of where we're going to be boarding. So we're just sat here now, charging our phones, got my water, got my headphones. And um, we're just gonna relax, maybe watch something. And yeah, just generally pass away the time watching some stuff on our phones, that's fine. When you're traveling back to the UK, you're almost always down at this end, like in this particular area where you've got gates like 90 to 97, I think it is, yeah. So it's quite nice and sunny here, it's quite pleasant. Lisa's reorganizing lots of things, I'm not quite sure what she's doing. <laughs> Of my yeah, just tipping out the entire contents of her bag. Yeah. yeah, I like things in a certain way. You do. I will say, you. Yeah, you definitely like things how you like them. There's nothing wrong with that. So it's later on now, and it looks like we might be around time for boarding. Not before time. We've been. Uh been sat here for a while and I just want to say hi to Amanda and also to Paula who I just met when I was getting a pretzel so hi to you guys I'm glad you had a great trip and thanks for saying hi but yeah we're ready to get on now and make the journey back to the UK I can't believe I'm saying that I feel like we just got here but there you go 